Witness at ABC11.com. The I team staying on top of mail issues plaguing the triangle tonight. Hundreds of you have told us you're seeing spotty, slow, and late delivery. Now the I team looking into another complaint. People trying to report problems to the Postal Service and getting nowhere. We want you to weigh in right now. If you are having trouble getting in touch with USPS to resolve mail problems, you can vote on ABC11.com slash vote or swipe into the ABC11 app from our push alert. John Camp is digging into what's going on and he joins us now with more. John? Tisha, we have been hounding the Postal Service for a week now to get some answers. No one anywhere in the chain will do an interview with us. The best we've been able to do, short of chasing down a postmaster somewhere in a parking lot, has been a couple of official statements that don't say much about the problems that people are having. What is happening is that our list of questions is growing. Our letter carrier is, is wonderful. That's Trudy Thornton. She lives in Durham, and as you heard, she loves her letter carrier. But that person isn't always on duty, and that's where Thornton's love for the Postal Service often stops. When she is not on the route, we know it, because we will either not get mail, or there will be a package stuffed in the mailbox hanging out in the weather, or they'll leave it sitting out in the rain. Those are the same kind of complaints the I-Team has been getting in buckets since our first story on this one week ago. But where others have complained of not being able to get through to the Postal Service to file complaints, Thornton says she recently did get through, got someone on the line, and then got someone else and someone else. They refer you around to different people. The postmasters are untouchable. You, you never talk to a postmaster. Now Thornton's got another complaint, a package she'd been tracking from Tennessee, which she says got bounced around between Durham, Greensboro, and Raleigh for almost two weeks before finally landing at her door just yesterday. It was probably in about 12 different post office or postal facilities, and you would have thought that out of 12 that someone way before the, the 12th one could have done something to have got it on the right path. Yeah, it, it just does not make any sense to me whatsoever. There needs to be some communication. You know, I would rather have them tell me, we can't get your package delivered, we're behind, but we'll get it to you as soon as possible. I just, I just want an answer. Thornton says she emailed the post office about that situation yesterday, has not heard back. We also checked back in with folks in the North Raleigh neighborhood where we reported the, on this a few weeks ago or a week ago rather. They say it's not gotten any better there. Mail still not coming. Steve Tisha, you watch those poll mm -hmm. numbers there. A lot of folks, two thirds of the folks now over that apparently having trouble here, even just getting the information to the post office. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing. Yeah. You, you get the instant results right there. 65% of the people uh, weighing in on that poll right. say they're having some trouble. 35% not having uh, much yeah. trouble. But but yeah. uh, now that puts some context to the, the, the number some of complaints you've been getting. You bet. Some perspective yeah. to it. Thanks. All right. Good work, Sean, John. Thanks. Appreciate it.